Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time you guys are watching this. Hope you guys are having a great week so far. I know I am. There's something I want to show you guys that I built for this car about uh, two years ago, I would say it is. Um, so typically, whenever someone jacks up their car to say, let's say, change oil or do anything underneath the engine that you would typically do, a lot of times people will use your standard jack. Standard jack requires you to put it underneath the car and jack it up, which you know takes time. It is a very good way to, to get the car up in the air, but for a car that sits this low, sometimes it can be annoying because even if you pump this thing up all the way, it's still going to be pretty low to the ground. Another way is people who want to use these. As you can see, for a car like this, that ain't gonna work. First of all, this right here is going to hit this way before the tire does, so it's not going to be able to get up there. Second of all, my tires are wider than this is. You don't want your tire to be over these edges. You want to be inside of here. So this is basically for like a standard car tire size. Uh, and plus, it's, what is this, like 8 inches, 9 inches? Like, that's not going to do the job. I'll show you what will do the job, and uh, they are pretty legit. That's right, solid wood ramps that are for sure to get the car up high enough and they're long enough that the car's nose won't touch and um, they work pretty darn good. Uh, I've used them with the Corvette I think twice now. I've used them with our, our Equinox, my dad's truck, uh, my Jetta, I use them with the Jetta all the time and no problems. Uh, here, let me show it to you. So as you guys can see here, this is three quarter inch plywood and we have supports here and here all the way down here and then the upper part where the, where the where the tire actually sits on you can tell is pretty beefed up and this thing is completely put together with screws and glue um we didn't we didn't mess around when we put these things together there's a uh, glue on every seam and every single seam also has screws um they are built identical to each other of course and um <laughs> They're very, very, very heavy, and we actually built this. I put this here to help us lift it up, like pick it up when we take it places, but uh, that didn't work so well because it got really, really heavy. So what we ended up doing was I ended up buying these little tiny metal, uh, they remind you of ball bearings, but they were meant to, to be wheels for stuff. And I had five, and I'm sorry, I had four of them on the bottom of this thing and I would push it through the garage, but the wheels just weren't good enough. They weren't like casters, which, you know, push smoothly. These did not push very well at all. Um, you kind of still had to use your foot and kind of like guide it along and kick it. And it put a lot of marks on my dad's concrete floor. I didn't want to do that. So I took the wheels off and I bought this, which is a Milwaukee um, collapsible uh, dolly cart from Harbor Freight. Oh, I'm sorry, Harbor Freight, no. Harbor Freight didn't have them. I bought it from uh, Lowe's in Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, back whenever Lowe's was there. Now it's empty building. Um, but I'm gonna use this ramp right now to change the oil, and uh, I'll show you how well they work. Uh, there's something on the car that's just not supposed to be there. I don't know if you guys can see it in this clip or not, but it's like right there, and those glass things are supposed to be down. Anyone who knows me knows that I do not like driving my car with a top on. I do it every once in a while. I did it in a couple videos ago because I just got it out for the spring and it was still a little chilly outside. I, 99% of the time, I only drive my car with the top off, windows down. So that's why I don't, that's why I've never had my side windows tinted because literally no one's ever going to see them. Another thing is too is my windows here have these crazy ugly scratches. You can't really see it very on the camera, but all the way up and down here and there's some over here. And it's also on either side. But, before I can drive this car anymore on the road, because it's just driving me insane, I gotta get this top off. Now I know you guys, for those of you who have been on a part of the channel for a long time, thank you so much, I really appreciate that. For people who have not, I'm gonna get this on video so everyone can see that the top come off. It's very, very simple, it's four bolts. Two of the bolts stay in the car, which are the ones here and over there. And then the two that are over there and over there, you actually take them out and I just sit them on the inside, the center console inside the um, ashtray that no one uses. So let's get this top off so we can finally enjoy the Corvette in 2019.
because I did that on on time lapse, uh, I did record it, and it took me exactly two minutes and forty seconds to do that, which is not a lot of time at all. Um, I know like it, the, the newer cars that have like the automatic tops that come on and off, they, they can do it in like what eleven seconds. Fooey on them. This is two minutes and fifty seconds manual labor. It's a nineteen ninety one car. I think it's well worth it. The second part I want to do here is I made a video about this last year. If you guys can see me or not, because the sun is like you know perfect bad spot right now uh, but anyways um, remember this thing I put on here last year uh, uh, right here and then this goes down and sits in here and then it has the uh, the gap all the way around um, some people actually almost every single person that saw it thinks it's really really cool they thought that was they thought it was really neat they have never actually seen that before um, and some of them actually asked me where I got it because they were interested in getting one I did have a few people that said it was hideous get it off of there make it look like an actual Corvette again your opinion um, I'm gonna put that on right now because that is the last little detail of making the car look like it's ready for spring and I'm gonna do that real quick here for you guys I think one of the coolest things about this thing is, is that the comes with the car is what is used to do this, which is really cool. While you're taking the top off, you can just do this at the same time. There you go. Not budging at all. Perfect. And that's how you do that, folks. And as you can see here, I got a tape measure to show you guys. It is exactly 21 and a 16th of an inch off the ground. If you go by the bumper, which doesn't really matter, it's about 29 inches off the ground. But we got a good 20, 21 inches of clearance underneath the engine. We get a creeper underneath there, have enough room to work, and uh, let's get this oil changed. All right, folks, underneath here. There. Looks like it's a little wet, which is uh, not very exciting. I got my rag. Well, it might be a pan plug that's just uh, old and needs replaced because that's the only place it's wet. So that's kind of good. So let's. Uh, there we go. That's draining though. I can show you guys a little bit underneath the engine here how it looks. If you guys were ever curious, if you were never curious, well, extra you're getting some extra information here. So this is there's really no there's zero wet spots anywhere you can see. Looks really good shape. There's the ZF6 transmission. There's some uh spray film I used to fix a hole one time that was in the bottom of the with the, the, chair, the seat sits inside the car there's our oil filter which is a fram and this looks like this is about done draining already it's really windy out so I'm sorry if there's a lot of wind noise and also you can tell that the uh, oil is uh, blowing around a good bit but now I want to go up and I want to pop the hood and open up the uh, the, the um, crankcase lid. Okay, here's the oil. Just want to loosen this up. Just enough to break the seal. I got to give a huge shout out to two people on YouTube. In my most recent, well, sorry. One of my most recent videos, they saw me buy oil and this, Fram Extra Guard PH30. And I never knew this. By the way, I want to give a huge shout out to two people. The very first one, his name on YouTube is <clears throat> Dick Large. And uh, the other guy's name is Has Been Good. So I don't really know what his name is. Um, but anyways, Dick Large, I call him Mr. Large. He uh, wrote me on the, the video, that the comment of that video, and was like, dude, do not use Fram. They're junk. They use paper for the filters. Please get something else. Has been good, commented on his comment and said, yeah, dude, please do yourself a favor. Don't get Fram. Go to the store and buy Mobile One. Just so you guys know, 
I've been a car person my entire life and I've always, well, I should say I've never known Fram to be bad. I've used Fram on my Jetta, uh, my Jetta, sorry. Both of my Neons I had, I used Fram on this ever since I've had the car. My parents have used Fram on their, his, my dad's truck has 330,000 miles on it. Silverado has used Fram its entire life. My parents use Fram on their Equinox. I use Fram on my Equinox. But because YouTube is so powerful and you guys are such a huge help and let me know that Fram sucks, um, that's based off their opinion. Uh, I, don't, I have no experience with them being bad. I went to the store today after reading the comment and where's it at? Oh, you know what? It's still in the back of my car. Wrong side. I went to the store today and I bought Mobile One filter just as you guys requested because I wanted to take your guys' feedback and I've always said in my videos I really appreciate your guys' feedback I appreciate everything you guys say to me and I figured if you guys really do suggest something and I had two people say this why not listen to them and go out and buy what's good so I got the mobile one part of the Corvette I'm taking this one back to re um, get a refund from Walmart so let's get the uh, the old Fram piece of junk filter off the car put the uh, plug back in and uh Let's do that right now. Might have to replace this. I have to get a new one, but for now, we'll just put it back in. There we go. Now for the new filter, I always like to uh, get a little bit of oil and uh, go around the rim of the seal. I usually just start it, let it run for a little bit, and then uh, check the oil in the dipstick um, as I can, as soon as I get done here. So I'm gonna take it down off the ramps now, and uh, we should be good to go. I also have a question, guys. What, does anyone know what this thing is right here? There's a, it's actually supposed to be bolted down here, but it hasn't been since I bought the car because the, the bolts actually broke off inside the hole, so it just kind of sits here. But I don't know what this thing is. It says Delco Remy on the side. There's an air hose going into the throttle body, uh, but I mean, I don't know what it's to. I don't know. Does anyone know what that is? Please uh, let me know, because it'd be a huge help. Alrighty folks, it is currently 7.52 p.m. and the sun is just about down. We have a moon right there. And um, so I, I don't know how well these shots are gonna turn out on camera. Um, looks like from what I can see in the screen, it's gonna be okay, but I just wanna show you. We did check the oil, the oil is perfect. It's right where it's supposed to be. Um, the top is now off. The back window is now propped up, which is perfect. The rear, yeah, sorry, the, the roof is in the rear. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I think the car looks like it's ready for spring, ready for summer. And I gotta be honest, I'm just about as ready for spring and summer as this car is, even though I don't like warm weather. But I'm really excited to start driving this car. But uh, over there's a sunset, you guys can see, beautiful. But there she is, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. And once again, I'd like to thank Mr. Mr. Large and has been good for the uh, recommendation on the Mobile One filter. I will be taking the Fram back to Walmart to get my $9 back. <clears throat> so greatly appreciate it. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like always, please like this video, give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe, take care, and I'll see you later. Bye.